As Alabama works to increase its number of skilled workers, one area has really been lacking women, and that's especially true in the construction trades. And tonight's Skilled to Work, Way 31's Will Robinson Smith shows us how a summer camp is working to change that. On a somewhat cool Tuesday morning, sparks are flying in the welding shop at Calhoun Community College. Statistically speaking, you might expect a man to be behind this mask, but you would be wrong. These 20 high school girls are part of the Summer Welding and Electrical Technology Program, Sweetie for short. It's been a lot of fun. I've learned so many things. I caught up with incoming Austin High School junior Shristi Garg in the electrical part of the camp. She's not planning on going into the trades right now, but says the knowledge she's learning this week is important for what she does want to do. I feel like I wanted to see how welding was, how um, the electrical part might be, because I wanted to be a computer engineer. The Sweetie program, done jointly with the Decatur Morgan County Chamber of Commerce in Calhoun, is now in its 14th year. They work with incoming freshmen through seniors. Through this process, the students will be able to use their newfound electrical and welding knowledge to make their very own lamps to take home. Plus, the whole process gives them a better idea about what these careers actually entail. Amberly Fortenberry with the Chamber says inspiring girls when they're young is key. But if we reach them and we put that bug in their ear to say, hey, here, here's what's available, then they can go out and they can see the fun stuff that we do and they can have fun doing it. In order to keep up with industry demand, three years ago, the Chamber brought additive manufacturing or 3D printing to the curriculum. I would say that was harder, but I still enjoy it though. It's still fun. It's the first time I've used a program like this. It's kind of confusing, but I got, I got the hang of it. Fast forward a couple of days and many hours of lessons to the last day of camp. The students said they were surprised by how much they enjoyed their time and some of the lessons they learned along the way. I wish I had more time to weld because welding, it seems so much fun. Like You think that it's primarily a man's job, but anybody can do this job. It's not just primarily for one sex. As fun as the welding was, that's not something I'd choose for a job. Probably what I'll do is something more like the 3D printing. I didn't think that I would enjoy the electrical part, but I did. And, uh, you know, girls like me should have an opportunity to uh, take part in uh, camps like these. Reporting at Calhoun Community College, Will Robinson Smith, Way 31 News.